right good morning this video is to kind of show people how to get better performance and frames in aisle 2 with Windows mixed reality like the reverb g2 setup so as you can see right here I'm capturing with OBS the aisle 2 um, but I'm gonna minimize this and kind of go into my process. Um, so right now I'm actually capturing the game itself, but in a minute I'm going to start capturing from the mixed reality portal so that I can show you what I see inside the goggles. It gives a better perspective uh, and lets you adjust some changes in there. So. First, we have some programs to download. I'm gonna minimize this. All right, now, first thing we need to get is this OpenXR Toolkit. Here's the link. I'm gonna put the link in the video. Um, when you come here, I definitely recommend joining the Discord server. Uh, this guy, uh, forgive me if I don't say your name correctly, M. Bukia, uh, he's in there chatting with us every day. He listens, he's the dev, um, all around nice guy. Um, yeah, join the Discord server, get in there, and you know, you there's all kinds of different tech support in there for you if you run into trouble. Um, so to do to to get this, uh, it's literally you just download the latest and when it opens, when it's done downloading, um, let me see here. changing stuff on the fly. I don't make a whole lot of videos. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take this. Okay, here's what the that is gonna look like when you have it installed. Um, you don't need this, I just have it checked. Um, so when we get into aisle two to make some changes, the modifiers, uh, control, F1, F2, and F3. I don't have an up set, as you can see. Um, so when we're making changes to this menu, you have to hold control, and then to go right, you press F3 to come down, F2, and left, F1. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. You don't need to keep this open. Um, you just need to memorize these controls right here, and then we can close it. Give me a second. Um, window capture back to why can't I capture Firefox? Now the next thing to download is this open composite. Uh, this, as you can see, will let you play Steam VR games without Steam VR. Steam VR is very system heavy. It's a drag on your system. Uh, and you can see it definitely works for these games right here. Um, if you're a DCS player, it'll make DCS better. It's good. Um, all right, so download and installation. Click this link right here. And again, I'm gonna have this link in the video. Click this link right here, uh, unzip it, and we're going to run the open composite system-wide. Um, and 
I have this already downloaded, obviously. And in a second, I'll switch to what that window looks like. All right. So when you're in Open Composite, um, you will see this is going to the switch to Steam VR is going to be grayed out and switch to open composite link is going to be active. Click on it and matter of fact, so when you click on it, it's going to download the open VR DLLs that you need. Um, just let it do its thing. There's nothing to configure here. Um, if you install this and you run into issues or errors that you don't immediately want to troubleshoot, just click this switch back or switch to Steam VR and it's going to make your IL2 run via Steam VR again. Um, all right, now I'm going to close this and I'm going to load into. I'm going to load into the Mixed Reality Portal. All right, now I'm in the portal so that you can see what I see through the goggles. Now you see that little FPS overlay there that is something that you can set in this menu. Now, this menu that I'm speaking of, to bring it up, you press Control F2, okay? See that right there? I mean, if I can zoom in. I don't know if I can zoom in on that. Oh good, I can, okay. All right, now, there's going to be a, a timer on here. So the first thing you want to do after pressing control F2 is come over to system, sorry, menu. All right. Pressing control and F2, come down to menu timeout and then press F3 until it comes to none. All right. Now the menu won't time out. Very nice. Now control F2 all the way to the top tab menu. We're gonna come back to performance. All right, to get that little yellow FPS overlay, I have the, it comes stock with off. I have it set to FPS. Advanced and developer shows you more stuff. It just clutters up the screen. I'm no developer and I'm not exactly advanced. Uh, okay, coming down, the upscaling, you have the option of the NVIDIA NIS or the AMD FSR. I have found better performance and visuals with the NIS. You don't need an NVIDIA card. Uh, you can use either one. Here is where it's going to be system specific. You're going to have to do lots of playing. I'm just showing you my settings. Um, this is off. I keep this downscaled to 80%. Now what this does is it reduces the system performance requirement. So you're going to get upscaling to 100% with that NIS at the performance cost of about 80%. Um, again, this is where system specifics come into play. If you find that you're getting better performance, um, but you want better, go down further. Uh, I've gone all the way down to 55% and it still looks pretty crisp. Um, that low, you have to increase your sharpness a little bit more, but it still looks good. Um, uh, I'm not sure what mitmat bias is. There, there, a lot of this stuff I don't mess with. Uh, like I said, I have the FPS overlay on. I upscale with NIS, and I downscale it to 80%. And again, that's 
reducing the hardware cost, but the NIS is gonna jump it, it's gonna upscale it back up to 100%. Um, appearance, I keep post-processing off. Play with it, you might find something that you like. Uh, shaking reduction, if you do too much, it messes with your, your video. Uh, I, I don't play with this at all. Um, Always keep motion reprojection off. Uh, in IL-2, it, it causes really odd things. Uh, wings warping, you know, there, there's just too much, too much uncertainty in, especially when you're flying multiplayer, you know, players fly crazy. Um, menu. And then, so menu distance, that's the one of the only things that I messed with. I, I made the menu look a little closer to me inside the goggles. Um, a lot of these changes that you make, uh, you'll notice, let's see. It says restart VR session to apply the changes. Um, that's a bit of a pain in the ass. You have to completely close IL-2 before you start it back up and it takes effect. Um, in Flight Simulator 2020, uh, you don't have to shut the game all the way down. You just have to go back into 2D. Um, yeah, man, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any trouble, uh, reach out, hit me up. Uh, but definitely join that Discord link. Um, and you know, once again, I'm going to leave all those links in the video. I hope this helped. Catch you in the skies.